So you fell off track. It happens. Whether you gave into temptations or you actively decided not to eat keto, it's what you do after and what you eat after that's important. First, don't beat yourself up about it. Don't look at it like you cheated and that you have to start all over because you didn't and you don't. Remember, this is a lifestyle, so you don't have to be 100% perfect all the time. And you're never starting over from the beginning. Just look at it like you had a pause and you're continuing where you left off. But sometimes a cheat meal can turn into another cheat meal and another cheat meal, and before you know it, multiple days have passed and you're feeling like crap. You may have even tried to get back on keto, but those cravings hit so hard and the thought of meat and veggies just really don't cut it. So how do we fix this? Well, you need something that is low in carbs, high in fat, and insanely delicious. We make jalapeno poppers, but these aren't your average jalapeno poppers. They have something special inside. And there's also something about a spicy chili pepper that helps get you back on track. And I'll explain why in a little bit. So let's get to stuffing so I can show you how to get back on track fast. To start, we need to put on gloves because I wear contacts and my eyeballs do not like jalapenos. Cut off the stem, and then you have the option of cutting these vertically down the center to make two, or you can just leave one hole and then scrape out the center with all the ribs and the seeds with one of these nifty tools. But I just like to cut mine in half. Then I scrape out the center with a spoon, and the more ribs and seeds you leave, the spicier it's gonna be. And speaking of spice, jalapenos contain capsaicinoids, and studies have shown that capsaicin can decrease your appetite, increase your metabolism, and increase fat burning, which I think is why this recipe works so well at getting you back on track. Next, we're gonna rinse off all the seeds, and then we'll stuff and wrap them. Besides stuffing these peppers with cream cheese and wrapping them in bacon, we're gonna add an extra ingredient to add flavor, fat, and protein. And that's Little Smokies. And there are clean versions of Little Smokies out there. Teton Waters Ranch makes ones that's 100% grass-fed, no hormones, antibiotics, no nitrates, nitrites, and they're gluten-free and sugar-free. It's the cleanest cocktail sausage out there. Using a spoon, add one to two tablespoons of cream cheese to your jalapeno, then press in a little smoky and wrap with a slice of bacon. the official name for these poppers they're called buffalo turds i don't really know why because they don't look anything like that place them on a foil lined baking tray and then you can secure them with toothpicks if you want it actually makes them easier to pick up and handle then we're gonna bake at 300 degrees for at least an hour. I usually like to go around 75 minutes to 90 minutes. The longer you let them cook, the more that spice is gonna cook out of them. So if you're like a lot of spice, don't cook them for very long. If you can't handle the heat, then cook them longer. These are so insanely delicious and they stop those cravings for high carb foods. Maybe you need something like lasagna or juicy ribeye. I have both of those. Just click right here to see. 